Hello, this is Joe with Quadspecs.com and today we're going to show you how to replace your stock Ishin E010 motors with some upgraded Chaoli 59,000 RPM motors. But this tutorial is applicable to any brand motors that you decide to put on the Ishin E010. The E010 and the E011 have very similar frames, so the installation process is nearly identical to that point. Where they are different is that the E011 has connectors on the flight controller instead of just solder pads. So you can replace them like for like and just buy motors that have the connectors pre-installed on them. Uh, but if you did want to reduce weight, you can remove those connectors on the flight controller and then you could actually solder onto the board like you would the E010. So it has the exact same pads on the top side of the board as you'd see on the 010 and the installation would be exactly the same. So the first step to replacing the motors is to remove the existing motors and a trick here is to leave a little bit of excess wiring on the flight controller and what this does is it allows you to go back and reference which color wires went to which spot on the flight controller so when you go to put on the new motors you can unsolder the wires one by one and solder on the correct color to get your clockwise and counterclockwise rotation correct. Step two in the process is to remove the propellers from the drone so that you can more easily access the existing motors for removal and keep those aside so that you can reinstall them once the new motors have been successfully installed. So now that we're ready to remove the motors, keep in mind that the wires are intricately routed through the frame to the flight controller. So you're going to want to loosen those up so you can remove the motors more easily. We did come across a couple stubborn wires when removing one of the motors, so it would be helpful to have a set of needle nose pliers just in case you run into the same situation. You should now be ready to install the new motors, so make sure that you match the color of wire on the flight controller with the color of wire on the new motor. This is important to make sure you get your counterclockwise and clockwise rotation correct. It is important to route the motor wire through the inside of the motor mount so that the wiring can be routed correctly. We found it helpful to try to pin the wires back from the motors so that when you go to work with an individual motor, you don't have to worry about the wires from the other motors getting in your way. So now you're to the last few steps, where first you need to cut the wire and leave a little bit of extra wire just to make sure you have enough working room. To make things easy, we worked with one motor at a time and unsoldered the existing wire on the flight controller and resoldered the corresponding color wire for the new motor. This helps ensure that you don't get the clockwise and counterclockwise rotation screwed up. That's it for this tutorial, so thanks for watching, and to see more like it, be sure to subscribe. We'll see you next time.